Hello my friends and welcome to a new Kerbal Space Program video. Okay, no, no, not quite, not quite. So, um, what was it? I think last, after the last Kerbal Space Program stream, I got requested later on on the Discord server to have a look at Space Flight Simulator and kind of try it out in a way. So, here I am, trying out Space Flight Simulator. So, actually, I've been for five minutes already into the game I've not really done anything and just realized that there's some sort of expansion and I can't build anything I want in the beginning with a free version uh, that the expansion is around four bucks or so but yeah I guess that's more or less it and like I said this is a try out let's try out not quite the way let's try out on um, satellite rain which I did more a few months ago but more a real let's try it since well satellite rain I knew more or less something about that. Yeah. So okay, let's to toys a new rocket. Let's go for a new rocket. Who cares about tutorials? Let's go. Okay, so like I was already into that one, but it didn't click anything except kind of yeah. The few this one. I know how to point on place things that's everything but now my first impression this really looks like simple rockets for those who don't know simple rockets is pretty much the same thing just different graphics okay this is a decoupler no that's a separatron what's this one a probe that's a, okay we need a parachute so it's pretty much just like simple rockets with a landing black no it's going okay uh do we need a separatron no, we don't need to add. So, no, it won't be a good idea. So, okay, uh, what was it? Yeah, Simple Rockets is a plane that I played quite quite a bit before. Yeah, that should be good. This is a low thrust engine in space. Good, okay, let's use that one. So, um, I played Simple Rockets before I had a computer and, well, I bought a computer mainly to play KSP and Factorio for those who don't know what Factorio is that's a let's build a factory type of game that's a big engine right cool now I'm I guess that's a separate yes site detachment thing is is there a mirror mode what the wow you, you just Turn around the landing legs. Great. Oh. That's sorry. Is there no symmetry or so? Not gonna work. What's that one? Save, clear, download. Okay, nothing. Okay. Those buttons are not working. Oh, oh no, no, I do want that one. Okay, no, you stay that way. I want that separate one there. And, you know, boosters. Ooh. Let's ha You do have to make them slightly smaller, otherwise, building boosters wouldn't make any sense at all. Would it? Okay, no aerodynamic nose cones. Haha! And staging? Where's the staging thingy? Utility? What's that? I say side parachute, structural expansion. Ah! No, thank you. I don't want to have a look at the expansion. Rover wheel. RCS. Cool, cool, cool. Electric? We have batteries. A solar panel. And a rover wheel. Let me guess that's not an engine. Okay. Yeah, like the the new I would know different nose. A fearing, we can build fearings. Cool. Well not that we actually need them, but large part they are all grey, so probably expansion. And basic. We can't scroll down now. Okay, so you have no clue about staging. Let's launch. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Holy, that, whatever that was, I have no clue. Maybe the thing that I. Whatever. Anyways. Okay. 
click cool maybe increase I, I no no I think I have to click the engines uh, no. wait 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 off uh, engine dagger get that no wait on on oh, on okay and give me how to increase our focus and there we go oh that's really really loud wait where is aim how no it's probably stand still since that's just too loud for me I'm just gonna scroll down the my sound volume and pro and increase the audio recording sound volume and it's pretty loud. Okay. Whoa, 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 I'm going way, way. That's the atmosphere, probably. Way 20 times acceleration. Okay, we are at the height of 80 km. I guess that's pretty good for KSP standards. Let's point parallel to the ground. Yeah, that actually is just like simple pl uh, rockets. Earth, Sun, Meg. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me close my... Now we have to... <laughs> well, that's actually a funny game, yes. However, it's still... Well, it's just... More or less the spiked down version of, of Simple Rockets, actually. I don't know whether you have to pay for Simple Rockets, actually. I'm not sure. Add a few... And we're in a stable orbit, great. Let me first detach these, the last stage rail. Oh wait, don't need my map yet. Taking time warp. So let's get to the moon. I've set the moon as a target. And I'm going into the opposite orbit. Right? No, I'm going the right way. Uh, I would say we ha will have to burn here. Just like just for a moon flyby. Yeah, gas type would make actually sense. Cool. And now, uh, pa. Is there some control thingy? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. With that, we can use that one. Cool. Is there no way to time warp on the ex bloody acceleration? What happens if I press space? Oh, that's the on-off thing for... okay. I think that's not even that perfect. Oops, no, I went overboard. Uh, w. No, D, sorry, my bad. Actually, let's reduce our throttle thingy. No, I went the other way too much. And it's not that even that good, actually. No, they, no, we have an encounter. Okay, let's reduce the throttle. That much. Let me see. I have to have a look around. And reduce the bloody throttle there. I'm still, I'm still used to the. KSP controls. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait. Oh wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. That was no, pretty darn fast. Um, 
so no readings that's really been okay the only readings they have I can't see the moon up here no there it is the moon ha <laughs> uh, how much fuel do I have that's the question we're going with 300 meters a second so I'm pretty sure we have enough fuel for that like to slow down that much speed and we're in orbit around the moon the moon not the moon the moon and and let's wait where's the map mode again so ta 300 meters so we definitely have enough fuel to slow ourselves down Nah, uh, maybe not even that much fuel remaining. Let me see. Guess I should stop burning, shouldn't I? Okay, we definitely won't have enough fuel to return, but... 40 meters, that's pretty darn slow. Actually... 20 kilometers up. Let's just at least point the right way, okay? Shall we? There you go. And I can time this already, and then we're getting pretty darn close. And our engine is pretty darn powerful. Oh, cannot warp below five. Cool, let's zoom out. I can see the ground there, although I can s can't see my craft. Oh, totally have enough fuel. No idea whether this will be a soft landing or not. Height, terrain, emergency, terrain, pull up, terrain, pull up, terrain, pull up. For those who have already played a simulator, a aircraft, a flight, just a normal flight, regular flight simulator. Terrain, pull up, warning, terrain. <laughs> okay, I guess that's enough of the of joking around. And burn! And whoa, flying around the other way around. <laughs> Oops. This engine is actually pretty damn powerful. Let me just quickly have a look at that. Engine on. What do we. I select fuel transfer for the. Okay, we can even transfer fuel. Cool. Let me now reduce my throttle down to 10 ish percent. Per ten per ten per hundred. Mwahaha. There we go. That was a little bit too much throttle actually. Okay, we've landed. We. I guess I received. I would receive now a cookie. Okay, we probably won't have enough fuel actually to go back, right? But what we could do is wait until we're pointing until the moon is at that po at that position over here. And then we can burn everything we have, and if we are lucky, which I really don't think we are, we could get even off the surface. I mean. Go back. Let's try. We. How much fuel do we actually need? Well, we just a bit over 300 meters a second to escape. So I'd say we have enough 400. We should be able to escape now. Mm. Does not look like it though. And out of fuel. Oh come on! Just just. So we need around 500 meters per second. Yeah, shame. Right there, man. Yay! So, that's, I guess, for your space flight simulator. First try going to the moon already. Let's go. <laughs> Though not being able to come back. You know what? I'm, no, I'm, and I'm really curious. If we would not goof around that much, actually, I guess going to the moon and back would be pretty easy wouldn't it uh, let me just check about the ISP this one's a lot better this one 
like their chart it's a bit better than everything so and what was it well and landing legs and this one and I guess this one is a good stage. No, I have to do this code. There you go. Um, now slap on this one, and then two of these, and another two of these. Do I have enough space for this one? <sighs> no, I don't want to bloody move up everything. Wait. That little bit. Ah, that's annoying. KSP is so much easier in terms of that. I think the first rocket did, like the first one, did go pretty f well. So let's add, I mean, thrust. Talking about thrust. Okay, there you go. And uh, we need some nice coins. There we go, perfect. But it should really just be an awesome rocket, shouldn't it? So more boosters are almost already a necessity, aren't they? More nose cones with more boosters. Yeah, I uh, you know what, let's just really add this fuel tank as well. Launch Wait, 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 there is no factory building. My bad here on that. Wait, what's not a problem? Why can I, can't I have those at the exact same height? Are you the problem? There you go, god damn it, that's so ridiculous. There you go. Looking at you, 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 and you. You go up and bam. <laughs> And we still can't in the, in the air, that's so ridiculous. We should really be able to do that. Not quite just burn up there, like that. Yeah, Let's tip over already. Six kilometers and 300 meters a second. This is not so not realistic in terms of those simple planes was it simple or rocket was 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 better because the atmospheric calm and line thingy was at, was at the more at more appropriate height, not like this one where it's just completely random actually. Come on, seventy kilometers probably the same as no, it's below seventy. No, never seventy, and the velocity of six hundred meters a second goes suborbital. That would be Mark Two, and planes fly at Mark Two pretty regularly. Regularly here, yeah. Past the calm limit, climb at 30, 30 kilometers. Yeah, sure. And I'm James Bond. I think that's even less ridiculous than this Carmen line, because this thing is called Earth. That's the reason. And where's my thingy? Let's zoom in. Bam. I do like how they decoupled them. That looks really awesome. That really looks awesome. Uh, despite that, everything else is not that nice. <laughs> Come on, be a little bit faster. Come on, will ya? Oh, time acceleration. Where are you?
It's so tedious. Simple, pl by the way, simple, uh, simple rockets had also a time acceleration thingy where you could double the time speed, like the physical time. Speed. Low Earth orbit. Cool. So I guess I can detach it. Pooch. Cool. That's even a bit, bit, bit higher orbit. So time acceleration. And at least we have no, nothing that's bound to. Wait, I have to. Uh, it's not yet. 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 No. Full throttle. Like, let me just quickly. Wait, is my engine working? Yes, it is. And go, let's go to the moon. So, at the moment, well, it is for, for a free game. If you're into space and you ha don't have any money, then it's great, really. Go and have a look at that. But if you have money, no, <laughs> don't bother with it especially not the well the expansion might be awesome actually really the expansion I mean well not awesome but I mean you could do a lot more with all those other parts you could build space stations you could build entire other things and so on but you know first of all the biggest advantage and biggest drawback at the same time is there you go is um that it, this game is 2d actually this is the biggest advantage and disadvantage at the same time the positive aspect of being 2d like you have only two dimensions is it's a lot easier you don't have to wor worry about any inclination changes neither do you have to worry about kind of mm. uh, let me just quickly go um uh, you don't have to worry about inclination changes, neither when you're rendezvousing, well, still inclination changes, actually. You don't really have to worry about almost everything, which makes, well, it, it makes just the entire game a lot easier. That's positive. However, there's also one negative thing about that, and that's that it's not realistic. And I don't, I don't know about you guys, however, I usually prefer realistic games especially if it's going for space except if you're really branding it as a sci-fi game like for example Elite Dangerous they really brand it as, it's not the, it's not the real thing we're just doing here a sci-fi game that's why Elite Dangerous is so good in my opinion they try to do it really realistic in terms of combat and um, exploration and if everything looks more or less decent Yes, that's true. However, they do not try to be, say that's a simulator. And this thing is literally called Space Flight Simulator. So, uh, sorry, wrong button again. That's in my opinion, not the, not the worst, worst thing you could do, no. But still it is um, not entirely what some people are expecting under a simulator. Kerber Space Program is a simulator. Yes, it is. Since it is actually pretty good at simulating the space, space, like space um, warfare. No, not not warfare. What's it? Space travel. There you go. Space travel in kind of human lifespan. No, no, not human lifespan. Like the human destination. So, the, of course, in Kerber Space Program, you do take some time for. It takes some time for you true to do everything but it's not ridiculous like flying to other stars which is actually ridiculous in KSP except you go into the interplanetary mode which is then kind of it is fun probably I haven't played it but it is probably fun however it kind of screws up the entire weird simulator part of the game okay there you go we are out of not quite out but Yes, you you get you guys get what I mean. Okay, so we are again here at the moon, and I would actually say we will now reduce the throttle pretty far down and increase the throttle pretty far up again. Reduce our speed until we hit zero, then detach that thing, then activate that engine, and now we're going to go. We will go for touchdown. 
crab hatch. Actually, nice explosion there, by the way. And let's reduce the throttle again. There we go. Perfect landing on the moon's surface. There you go. Second attempt. Well, landing was actually... Did went well. So now let's do exactly the same thing. Let's move until we're here. So I can just fly straight up without bothering. Um, there you go. Let's go home. And so where is the bloody time warp thing? Physical time warp. Uh, detaching those landing legs would be awesome. Oh, whatever. Can we do something with that thing? With the crew capsule? No, we can't. No, 400 meters per second. And we leave that one. And we hit the earth. Oops, that was slightly too fast. Let me quickly. There you go. Cannot deploy above two kilometers. Sure. Maybe deploying the landing gear again. Since we're gonna land there. Oh, can I time up below 25 kilometers? God damn it. Why does it take so long to get down? Man. And what do we have? The throttle. Let's reduce the throttle down to, let's say, 33. So, yeah. 500 meters. And I guess after this session, my impression of the Space Flight Simulator will end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Especially, wait, who requested it? I forgot the name. Uh, Sun... No, no, not Sunfire. Sunfire Cave. Let me just create. Oh, there, there we go. To oh, it deploy. Yeah, that's decent. If we were to activate the engine, actually. Uh, how much do we need? That's a decent thrust. No. You and could we actually lift off again? Yes, we could. There you go. Recover! Achievements! Reach low Earth orbit, entered Moon Sphere of Influence, landed on Moon's surface, escaped Moon Sphere of Influence. Complete mission. Would you like to write the game, review the game, rating a game helps, blah blah blah. I think I just did a review, didn't I? So. Complete missions. Okay, yeah, okay, cancel. Okay, it doesn't work the way I want it to work, but whatever. So. Save. Land that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Save. Game's completed. So, that's it on Space Flight Simulator. Thanks, you, thanks guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, and the one last thing, what was it? Um, who was the... I just want to have a quick look and a shout out for the one who... So, Okay, Flamestone. Flamestone requested our video, and here we have the... Here you have it, Flamestone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and... Yeah, until another video of me. So, thanks very, thanks very much for watching, and Spaceship, signing out. Bye.